filmed at Children's Museum Houston in front of a live studio audience. Welcome to... I thought this was Avengers the Musical. I am your host, Jacob. Welcome to Mind Your Matter, the only game show that matters. Without any further ado, let's meet our contestants. Contestant number one is Anna Williams, a fifth grade science student from Mindelev Elementary. Hello. Contestant number two is Mikey Gomez, a sixth grade student from Rosalind Franklin Middle School. Glad to be here. Contestant number three is Phyllis Stein, who claims to be a super genius despite all evidence to the contrary. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's spin the wheel of science. Today's scientific challenge is... Change the state of matter. Contestants, you will be given a sample of matter, whether in liquid, gas, or solid state. Your task is to change that matter to another state of matter. Contestants, please open the mystery boxes and reveal your matter, starting with you, Anna. Anna's mystery matter is an ice cube. That's one cube of frozen H2O or water. It's a solid, so it has definite shape and definite volume. This will be a cinch. Now on to Mikey. Wait, there must be a mistake. There's nothing in here. There is no mistake. The matter you must change is air. It is a gas, so it has no definite shape and no definite volume. Anything you find in the air is fair game. Now, moving on to our last contestant, Phyllis Stein. Please open up your mystery box and reveal your matter. Phyllis, your matter is a glass of water, or in other words, H2O, in its liquid state. A liquid is a state of matter with no definite shape, but definite volume. Aha! Uh -huh. I know exactly what to do. Excellent. While our contestants prepare their experiment, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Welcome to Wacky Smatter's Face Change Emporium. We melt solids, condense gas, and freeze or vaporize any liquid. Our solids melt smooth. Wacky Smatter's matter never shatters. Want to skip past liquid straight from solid to gas or gas to solid? No problem. Sublimation and deposition guaranteed at Wacky Smatter's. So if you have a solid liquid or gas you need change from state to state, bring it down to Wacky Smatter's Face Change Emporium. Our prices will melt your socks off. Welcome back. Before we see what our contestants have planned, while it is fun to do science experiments at home, you should always be sure to have a responsible adult help you. Let's see what our contestants have cooked up to meet our challenge. Anna, starting with you. Ice is water, frozen until a solid state. So I'm first gonna change it to a liquid by adding heat. When I put this solid ice on this hot pan, the heat causes the ice to change state into water, a liquid. That's melting. A state of matter change where heat is added to a solid, changing it to a liquid. Great job. Wait, I'm not done just yet. While I change ice to water, I can do one more change. If I keep adding heat to the liquid water, it starts to boil and turns into steam, also known as water vapor. A gas. Boiling is another state of matter change, where heat is added. This time, the matter changes from liquid to gas. Fantastic work. That's two points for Anna, one point for melting it from a solid to a liquid, and one point for boiling it from a liquid to a gas. Now on to you, Mikey. How are you going to change the matter in the air? Okay, since air is a gas, then I need to change a gas to a liquid. I pick water vapor, which we sometimes call humidity, as my guess. So I need to do the opposite of Anna. I need to absorb or remove the heat from the water vapor. The ice should absorb the heat from the gaseous water vapor in the air around the can. Watch the side of the can. See the liquid drops of water forming? That's condensation, a state of matter change where a gas changes to a liquid. Good work, you've earned. Wait, I'm not done. While I change water vapor to water, I can do one more change. I'm adding rock salt to the can. With rock salt mixed in, the ice can absorb even more heat. That's why it can be used to make ice cream. Now, watch what happens to the liquid water that condensed on the side of the can. It's turning to frost, a form of ice. That's freezing, a state of matter change when heat is removed and a liquid turns into a solid. Great 
work. That's two points for you, Mikey. One for cooling the water vapor in the air from a gas to a liquid. And then another one for freezing that water from a liquid into a solid. Now on to you, Phyllis. What do you have for us? Be prepared to be amazed. This is my Ultra Gravitron Compressurizer, a machine of my own invention. I will simply place the glass of water within the compressurization chamber, switch the machine on, and turn it up to 11. Uh, Phyllis, that doesn't look very safe. What's, what's going on? Nonsense! I am simply applying the same amount of gravitational force upon the water molecules that would be required to form a stellar core in the hopes that we can form a miniature star and change the state of matter from liquid to plasma. Huh. That wasn't supposed to happen. I guess I should have used more Gravitrons. I'm not sure what we just dodged, but thank goodness for circuit breakers. Philistine obviously gets what zero points for this episode, leaving Anna and Mikey tied for first with two points each. And that's our show. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time on... Life Who knew the Hulk was so graceful? <laughs>